Upset City. Good headline there, John. 12 upsets overall in the first weekend. I tried to figure out which was the biggest upset of all. Was it Gonzaga taking out Kansas? The Zags hit 60% of their shots against the Jayhawks, who had one of the best big men in the country. They hit only 38% of the shots. Or was it Oakland and what they did to John Calipari in Kentucky? Or was it Yale taking out Auburn? Auburn self-destructed with that ex-Aztec Chad Baker flipped an errant elbow running down the court, hit a kid in the face in response to getting bounced the prior possession. Mm -hmm. And Chad Baker, Mazzara, got ejected from the game. Their power forward. Four minutes into the game, he got yeah. thrown out. Yeah. And he took no responsibility. My guys, I got my guys at my back. What BS. I mean, he cost Auburn that game. You got Grand Canyon eliminating St. Mary's. How is that possible? Yeah. A week after St. Mary's had blown out Gonzaga in the WCC championship, James Madison beat Wisconsin of the Big yeah. Ten. That was a big one. Dayton went 24-4 run at the end, took out Nevada. Yeah. Wow. Clemson beat Baylor. Baylor was third seed. Houston nearly got upset by Texas A&M. Four of the five starters of the Cougars fouled out on that game. Luckily, they survived. And Colorado had to get 100 points to beat Florida. So I, I just think there's so many wild first weekend games, 12 upsets in all. Purdue, Zachary, three games or two games, 53 points, 35 rebounds in two games so far for the Boilermakers. That dude. What a monster, man. Incredible. Somebody in the NBA is going to get an amazing player. I tried to think, how good is he right now, talent wise, compared to Victor Wemanyana? who has seen doing great individual things on a bad San Antonio team. Somebody's going to get Zach uh, in the NBA lottery. And I I don't know how to respond to the massive disappointment of the Mountain West Conference. Aztecs are still playing. Utah State got to the finals on Sunday, got beat. Nevada got blown out. Boise got blown out. New Mexico got torched. Colorado State lost. A little bit of disappointment for the six that got in the Mountain West. There's only one left, and that's the flag carrier, San Diego State. Sweet 16, oh, some good games coming. Oh, yeah. Don't book anything on your schedule Thursday, Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday. Houston Duke, that'll be a doozy. Arizona Clemson, Purdue Gonzaga. Those, those, those to me are the top games as we go to the Sweet 16. So 12 upsets, comment if you will. Comment. It comments all over the place. That's so many storylines in this tournament. Like the Grand Canyon team reminds me of San Diego State 15, 20 years ago, <laughs> you know, where they recruit these really long athletic guys that could play D, could hustle, but couldn't make a shot. Uh, that was a really entertaining game when they went up against Alabama in the second round. Um, you know, Zach Eady, you know, do you see that interview with him after the game? I mean, just all business. Yeah, and just basketball. Incredible. No but, pressure. But, you know, you're asking where, where is he going to be um, you know, listed in the draft? And I'd like to look around on some NBA mock drafts from time to time because I'm interested to see where they have Ladee. Well, one of these guys had Zach Eady in the second round, and they've got all these dudes like from, you know, international leagues, you know. So, and, and so like the complexity of the draft has changed so much in the NBA. So who knows where Eady's going to land? Yeah, with the Euros for certain. Okay, we go from that to the – 